I know I was questioning whether or not they would go over their win total of nine and a half on FanDuel. I said, I don't think that might, that'll happen, but it doesn't look like an issue at least to start the season. Okay, Titans, Bears, let's get to it. We're going to get into Colts, Texans. We're going to get into all the big games, but we got to dig into the debut of Caleb Williams. This is why I was telling, and I'm telling you, you can continue to do it. Go get Red Zone. Bet $5 on FanDuel Sports, but you get a three-week free trial of Sunday Ticket, um, which includes Red Zone, of course, and, and everything. You can get that uh, brought to you by YouTube, YouTube TV, and see games like this. You want to be part of the history, the lore. I really thought, and Hamilton and I were exchanging texts back and forth, this was like 2006 sexy Rexy Rex Grossman Bears, okay? The, the Bears score zero offensive touchdowns. They have 148 yards of offense, but they rally back from a 17-0 hole to beat the Titans. I can't believe they were still in the game in the fourth quarter. It was unbelievable, but I'm sure Keekly will love that it was a d defensive uh, you know, win because we saw a blocked punt return touchdown from Jonathan Owens. Go ahead, pick six from Stevenson. The Bears shut out the Titans in the second half. They shut them out. What does that do for the confidence of a team going into a big week two matchup? I mean, Caleb becoming the first number one overall pick to win his debut since Derek, sorry, David Carr back in 2002. That's insane. Uh, and while Caleb's stat line wasn't outstanding. He made key plays down the stretch, right? He's just getting his feet wet. He's getting comfortable. And here he is talking to the wonderful Christina Pink after the game. We understood that the game wasn't over. We understood all the work that we've done and all the work we put in. Um, and obviously, big kudos to the defense. Uh, big kudos to the special teams. Oh, yeah. Big kudos to the special teams and guys like him. Um, it obviously wasn't a game that I'm going to play in the future and not the game that I wanted to play for my first game. But um, just kept fighting, um, kept trying to lead the guys. Anytime that I could get to talk to them, communicate to all of its alignment, that we're going to go win this game. I mean, he didn't have the game he wanted to have, but when they won, he was so freaking excited, and I loved that. And it wasn't what he was, he was so happy for his team. I think he's, it built confidence. It built a lot of their, a lot of that. And it sort of, you know, the way it played out underscores and underlines why Chicago is the perfect place for Caleb Williams. He doesn't have to do it all himself. He can have a game like this, and the team is good enough, that defense way good enough to get the win and keep going anyway. Now, the O-line makes him nervous. Got to be a little bit better, uh, and Caleb has to be better because they've got the Texans on Sunday night. On to C.J. Stroud, baby. And that's going to speak to the potential that these Bears have once Caleb Williams does figure it out. And I have no doubt that he will. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. You can subscribe right here to get the latest from the show and check out more of the best clips from Up and Adams or go watch a few segments from other shows on FanDuel.